So this is connected to the main box and I've got a breaker on there, um, a fuse, and then that's connected now as well. If everything works right, we should have power coming on here. It says I got 8.4 volts coming in from the solar panel right now. Let's turn this on and see what we got. And I'm now at 13.7 volts on the system. So everything is working 100%. I'm going to do uh, screen record. So I can show you what the battery's doing right now. Okay, okay, let's see what we got going here. So I got the battery running, like I said, we got the voltage all where it's supposed to be. Um, so let's pull up uh, the app that I installed. And right now there is nothing happening current-wise on that battery. Uh, so at the top it tells you the state of charge, that's what SOC means. On battery two, it's at 100%. Um, what my high voltage was, what my low voltage was, what the differential of voltage is, what my average voltage is, all of that information is on there. So then if I click over one of the arrows on the top, it'll bring the second battery. And on the second battery, we're at a 99% state of charge. That's battery number one. And the same thing, I don't have anything really happening right now, but I wanted to check those to make sure that everything looked like it was working. So I have a power button right here. And it says I have 13.6 volts and that is the exact same as the other one over there. I need some more light so I can see what I got going on here. Input, output, and output. So right now I'm not putting any, anything out. Um, I could plug this into that right now. Right now on the kilowatt meter, I'm still drawing 93 amps. So basically I'm drawing an amp an hour. The conversion from 110 to 12 volt um, is about 10. So we're talking about one amp being drawn on the 110 side is going to equal to 10 amps being drawn on the battery. So with that math, these two batteries should go in my refrigerator for almost three days, 60 hours, right? 72 hours would be three days. But um, the refrigerator doesn't run 24 seven. It runs, it stops, it starts, it stops, it starts. And I want to get it down to full temperature before I switch everything over because then I'll get a more true reading of how long it will run. And then obviously when I pick up more food tomorrow and really refill out the fridge and the, fr and the freezer, um, that will also hold, the more you keep in it, the cooler it stays because the, the ambient temperature of the products that are in there make a big difference too. But yeah, game changer. I love these batteries, they're absolutely beautiful. And I cannot wait to get the new charger up here and get it installed. Uh, because once the new charger is installed, um, I'll just be able to start the generator up, that charger will kick right on and start charging everything right away. And I'm, I'm super excited about that. Okay, I went ahead and I just plugged the uh, refrigerator into the pure sine wave inverter, the 2200 GNDEL that I have. Um, and looking at the app right now, it says that it's going to run my refrigerator for roughly 38 hours. But again, the refrigerator stops and starts and stops and starts. It's drawn right around 8 amps. Um, I will switch it over. Look at the other battery. So both batteries are drawn down at about the same, which is perfect. So we will let it run and see what it does. But. We'll check it again tomorrow morning. Um, I do have a charger that I can use temporarily, so I'll run it now, but I'm basically cooking dinner and watching Bob Ross paint happy trees, and <laughs> I kind of wanted to turn the generator off, and the refrigerator had already stopped. It had already got all the way down to temperature. It showed that it was drawing almost zero amps out of there, um, so I'll be curious to see how this actually works, but we'll find out in the morning now, won't we? Oh, good morning. So it's 7.30 in the morning right now, um, and I thought I'd do a brief update of how the battery, huh, I wonder why that says zero out there. Oh, because it's amps. Um, of how the battery has done over the first night. So I got everything connected yesterday. I think it was probably about three o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, so, you know, we're well over the 12 hour mark. Uh, and I'll pull up the screen recorder. <clears throat> One thing I think people don't realize about refrigerators is that they don't always run. And like I said last night, when I looked at how long this would run, it said originally 60 hours, uh, which would be just shy of three days. Um, in reality, these batteries right now, one of them is battery number two is at 94% state of charge still. And it's drawing no current at all because the refrigerator is not asking for any current. And battery number one is at 93%. And I started at 199. Um, so what I'm seeing with the draw on these batteries is that when the refrigerator is calling for power, um, I'll, I can read it right here on the end of how much uh, of the inverter on how much power it's actually drawing. And I'm seeing it draw about 100 watts um, on average. 
there's a lot of things that will make a difference in uh, how much power your refrigerator is going to need. One big one here at the cabin is that I actually keep the cabin pretty cool. So it's just under 60 degrees inside the house right now. So if, if your house is 75, 80 degrees inside, your refrigerator is going to run a whole lot more. Also, whether or not you stand there and open the door and close the door, you know, when your parents told you when you were a kid, you know, don't stand there and look at the refrigerator. <laughs> That's because all you break it to do is run longer. Um, and I, I really haven't gone in or out of the refrigerator all night long. <clears throat> I've heard it come on twice this morning since I've been up and I've been up for a couple hours. But yeah, 93% state of charge uh, on battery number one, which started at 99 and battery number two is at 94%. I can probably safely say I'm going to get multiple days out of the operation of this. The next time it comes on, I'll go ahead and I'll do a screen record of how long it says it will run, and I'll show you the amp current draw and that kind of stuff again. Uh, but so far, so good. And we're going to stop by and check on how this thing does throughout the next couple of days. Uh, my goal the first time around is to run these batteries all the way down to almost zero so that I can know exactly... Um, what I can expect out of these Vader batteries, but so far so good. I am super, super pleased with how these things are working out. All right, I forgot to uh, show you guys what it was drawn and how long it said it would last. So according to the app right now, I have 81, anywhere, well, 77 to 81 hours of estimated time rem remaining. Uh, and like I said, when I started this whole thing, it was 60 hours, uh, just over 60 hours that it said it would run. Uh, so everything seems to be doing awesome. 3.49 amps being drawn out of battery number two. Four point nine one nine amps being drawn out of battery number one, uh, and this one says sixty six percent. That could be the difference in the one percent of state of charge. So the other one's ninety four percent. This one's ninety three percent. Look at the history. Let's see if it'll pull it up or not. This has been kind of an issue of working. Uh, sometimes it works. Sometimes it doesn't. <laughs> I still have to learn how to use this app. We'll go back to real time. Uh, so yeah. The refrigerator that I'm powering is a brand new Visani. Uh, it's like 19.1 cubic feet. Um, and one of the things that was important to me when I purchased this uh, was that I, I wanted to make sure I got something that was really energy efficient. So I looked at the Energy Star rating and how many kilowatts it said it would use per year. Um, and I got one that basically runs on like 1.1 and a half or 1.2 kilowatts uh, per day. Um, and you could just calculate that out pretty easily. Whatever it says it's going to run in kilowatts per year, divide that by 365. That's what I ended up doing. It's actually taking less power than that. But again, it's because... Uh, the um, cabin is so much cooler than, you know, regular ambient temperatures. We'll do a battery update uh, because now it has been 24, it's been, it's been two days, two full days, and we're still at 13.3 volts on the batteries. They're doing fantastic. Let me pull up a screenshot recording to show you um, where we're at with state of charge. Okay, so we will scroll over. We will pull up the battery app. And right now, I'm at 83% state of charge in battery number two. It's currently drawing 1.16 amps, and I think that's a balancing draw. And then battery number one is at 80% state of charge. So, I mean, I call that, what, 81.5% between the two of them? And that one is currently drawing one amp as well. I don't know why. I don't know where that amp's going. I don't know if it's just, like I said, balancing itself out. But that is two full days, so I'm using basically 10% of my battery life per day. Estimated empty time, 204 hours, 28 minutes, but that doesn't really matter. That doesn't really count uh, because the refrigerator's not running right now. So, yeah, that's where we're at. Refrigerator just went off. That's what clued me, and I went, oh, shoot, I haven't checked yet. But at still at 13.3 um, volts for the batteries, and the nice thing about lithium iron phosphate batteries is that they're going to stay at that level until they get down to the absolute bottom, whereas with a traditional battery, the um, gel cells that I had in here before or lead-acid batteries, you're going to see a drop-off in voltage from the minute you start using them. But that said, I'm going to have dinner right now. Uh, it's Monday night. It's uh, the worst week of the year for me because it's Thanksgiving, uh, and everybody's going to shop like that on Tuesday and Wednesday, so I'm just going to lay low tonight. All right, I did it like an hour late yesterday, so we're going to do it an hour early today. This is day number four of running everything in the cabin now off the new batteries from Vader. So let's spin this around. Right now, the total charge is at 13.2 with zero volts being drawn or zero watts being drawn out of the um, inverter. And I have a 2200 watt uh, GNDL full pure sine wave inverter. <clears throat> everything's still hooked up. Everything's awesome. The nice thing is I get to leave my lights on. Uh, I don't have to worry about the draw on my lights. All right, let me pull up the screen recorder so I can walk you through what I got going. All righty, let's head on over to our app. Open it up, and battery number one is at a 62% state of charge, and battery number two is at a 63% state of charge. Um, there, when I got home, they were both at 64%, so they're really equalizing out now, which is super awesome. I'm drawing one amp current on battery two, and I'm drawing one amp current on battery one. So, basically, at this rate, 
So basically, at the rate that I'm, I'm drawing power off of these now, four days and I'm still above 60%, we're looking at a full 10 days of uh, power for the refrigerator uh, before I hit zero. Um, 10 days of, of pure running uh, before I, have, I hit zero and I'm, I'm forced to um, recharge the batteries. Now, recharging the batteries, like I said before, is going to be a monumental task um, until I get the new charger, but it's already shipped and it's on its way up here. And we'll do a, a separate video about shipping stuff to Alaska here coming up too. But I'm very, very satisfied with these things. They are absolutely beautiful. All right, so we're doing our final check for this week for the video. And uh, right now, battery number two is at a 58% state of charge. And battery number one is at a 56% state of charge. So let's just call it 57% between the two of them. Um, and the crazy thing is I started this on Friday. So Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Today is Wednesday. So after five days, what I'm seeing is my system is, is actually running better than I expected. I expect to get well over 10 days of power out of these at this point. Thank <laughs> you.